So in this video, I'll try to explain that how to use this multisim with an example I have given in the first assignment. So I am taking one example from the first assignment and I'll try to design a better uh, I have already designed I will try to discuss that thing that how to design those things okay so let's move on to the uh, what is our first assignment so in the first assignment there are some problems are given that the first one is power supply problems so question number one and two has been included in the first assignment so for example question number one so we have used a full wave rectifier circuit a bridge rectifier circuit as mentioned so here uh, i have chosen this problem the seven volt okay so next uh, goes to the uh, search for google that what will be the uh, here are uh, if we search for full wave rectifier circuit design so we can have uh, this type of problem uh, design that is and the center tab transformer type design so as we know that for a rectifier circuit uses center tab transformer and <coughs> whenever we call for go for bridge rectifier so so this type of circuit we have to design so for our problem we have to use this capacitor filter circuit right using capacitor filter we will try to design the whole rectifier the next uh, here also record a mm, in the problem we have also mentioned that that uh, using a Jena diode using a Jena diode okay regulated voltage source using a Jena diode okay so if we uh, search for a Jena diode circuit and Google so you can find that generator as a voltage regulator this way we have to use this one so we have to use a sports resistance and uh, there will be load resistance and across the load resistance there will be generator so in th this uh, is ij and il has already mentioned so you have to call uh, bj uh, you will uh, have the bj that the maximum voltage are required <coughs> So, um, and uh, from the V J uh, is already mentioned that without the voltage, that they, from there you can get the value of the RL, and, uh, and from IS you can get the value of the RS. Okay. So this way you can calculate those things, okay. and. Uh, there is a uh, little bit discussions on the generator as a voltage regulator so you can go through this so electronics and uh, in the electronics there is tutorials the ws so there are lots of <coughs> problems uh, practical problems are discussed and this calculation is also mentioned here okay so using this calculation you can do the you, know, you can solve your problem so uh, next i goes to the circuit design portions mm -hmm. now from the previously mentioned uh, from the website you can get the different type of mm, mm, circuit and also uh, one thing is that that uh, for a seven volt output we need a generator uh, which gives uh, the voltage around 7 volt so that uh, you can find that in the search engine I have used uh, you can find these things at uh, 75 okay A75 or A7V5 A75 or A7V5 that we will have uh, in the list on the uh, multisim uh, so from there you can find uh, if you have any problem then you can ask me also okay 
so I have to check that whether uh, I am taking that proper uh, particular diode or not so that's uh, I have used this particular di general diode <coughs> so for uh, for understanding so you I have searched it in the Google and uh, I have checked the data sheet also on the data sheet we can get that the value of the um, diode okay so these are the value of the diode so 7v5 will give this result the uh, minimum voltage the maximum voltage and the minimum uh, uh, the current there will be current also um, there mentioned however uh, let's uh, move on to the design portions so here in this uh, design portions uh, here I have mentioned one uh, voltage uh, source to 30 volt RMS 50 hertz here is then the center tap transformer I have used the, the trans ratio will be calculated uh, what will be the maximum uh, input voltage and what will be the maximum output voltage based on that the trans ratio can be calculated uh, so here uh, I have uh, getting the peak to peak voltage uh, RMS voltage is 11.4 volts so around uh, 13 uh, 12 points something is uh, to be voltage. Okay. <coughs> so at uh, this uh, transformer you can get from the source and here is the transformer so here is tapped 1p 1s 1 primary 1 secondary and tap so from there you can get this the transformer so this diode can be obtained from the diode symbol layer place diode and from here you can go to the diode and 1 and 4007 you can move on to the Jenner diode there you can get this one A7V5 and uh, for the capacitor for the capacitor you can go to the place basic and there we will get capacitor electrolytic so we, we have to use electrolytic capacitor here so I have chosen a 470 microfarad capacitor so based on the capacity uh, capacitance the total change in the uh, time constant of the output voltage uh, output waveform will change so that will be uh, checked whenever we change the value of the capacity that will be changed so here i have calculated a, a source resistance of 75 ohm it may be different it will, it will uh, change based on the uh, input voltage whatever you are using okay that the output transformer whatever what transform, uh, transformer you are using <coughs> now this is a simple example and you can get the Jenner diode from here mm, Jenner diode this is diode this is Jenner diode and uh, this is called as probe so the here voltage probe here it is a current probe so you can use uh, two different probes and you can check uh, during runtime also so just uh, run here using a F5 so here you can check that the V is here is uh, RMS voltage is 11.4 if you check it here it is 11.5 if you check it here it is uh, 1 on 5 volt right so that is a 230 volt peak to peak RMS so that means VRMS equals to 1 on 5 and here it will be give 0 and uh, this voltage probe is given the output voltage 7.49 volt across the 30 ohm resistance and the current is uh, total current is uh, 45 uh, DC current is uh, 45 to 46 ohm and this uh, current is 22 milliampere sorry the DC current here is 45 milliampere and they have 
that is current is 22 milliampere and the current flow the generator is 23 milliampere so these are the um, parameters voltage and current parameters from the circuit you can get this and this is oscilloscope um, uh, this oscilloscope showing that the uh, input voltage uh, without capacitor filter and this is the output voltage with capacitor filter so just to pause it just pause it and check this uh, using this meter so channel a gives the uh, in the channel a i have give the output is connected to the channel a and channel b is connected to uh, the diode output so diode output gives uh, these things uh, around 15 volt uh, peak to peak uh, 15 volt peak voltage and uh, the channel a that is the output is given 7.5 volt peak voltage 7.59 peak voltage <coughs> okay so this uh, we can easily check and we can easily find out so using this oscilloscope so whenever we do the practical lab in the uh, practical in our lab so there also we can have to use oscilloscope so here is probe is mentioned voltage probe current probe power probe differential voltage voltage and current all those things so in this way you have to design and you have to take the screenshot uh, from the output so you have to take this this screenshot and uh, you have to pull those that screenshot uh, in your lab copy so from here you can um, you can take the screenshot so file um, print preview so that print preview you can it, it, it's printed so from here you can print this as a pdf file and uh, add it to your report from here you can print this a pdf file and add it to your report clear and uh, also you can print this also uh, from here Okay, not required. So just take uh, this uh, screen, uh, screenshot and mm, you can put the uh, output away from from the uh, web page. Any web page you can put the output. Away from. But you have to write that what will be the output voltage and what will be the output current you have obtained. Okay. So you have to change this different values of the resistance and you have to note down that value. Okay. Mm, so thank you everyone and try to use uh, uh, Maltism at your home uh, based on the problem given. Okay. If any things uh, required uh, any help, uh, if the doubts are there, you can post it on the Google Classroom. Also, you can uh, <coughs> write me through WhatsApp. Okay. Thank you very much.